hey guys welcome back to my channel as we all know one of the problem of having a natural hair is the fact that when it gets dry it's easy to break or shed and again it's so impossible to manipulate so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys a diy remedy to keep your hair moisturized all throughout the week so guys let's get started our first ingredient is glove Glove contains good amount of nutrients that is very beneficial for healthy hair growth. It's rich in beta carotene, which helps to boost the tissue under your scalp, and also it helps to provide abundant and long-lasting moisture for your hair. Glove also helps to get rid of dandruff, fight scalp irritation, avoid premature hair graying, and also help to control hair fall. So at this point, as you guys can see, I'll put some glove into my blender and I'll go ahead and blend it dry. For this particular remedy, it's a must that you blend your glove. And after blending it, this is what it's going to look like. Exactly like this. Up next is our black tea. You can use any black tea of your choice, but I'm going to be going with lip tea. The caffeine found in black tea can help reach the hair follicle to block the hair DHT. DHL is an hormone that causes hair loss. For this reason, black tea works very well for people who are trying to fight hair shedding or hair breakage. And most importantly, black tea also helps to keep the hair rooted to the scalp and also helps to nourish and strengthen your delicate strands. So I'm going to go ahead and mix my black tea and my glow together. So now let's move to the next step. So guys, before I continue, I just want to show you guys, this is my mango butter, my shea butter, and my cocoa butter. And I'm going to put a handle of where I got this on Instagram because a lot of you always ask me where I get my stuff. No, this video is not sponsored. This is just me trying to make it easier for you guys to get. So I'm going to put the a handle on my screen and on my description box so you guys can just directly go and buy from her. And you guys also always ask me measurement. And that is why I got this measuring scale, anything for you guys, as far as it helps me uh, make my video a lot more comprehensive. So I'm going to go in with 70 gram of mango butter, then about 100 gram of cocoa butter, which make everything 170 gram. So this measurement is just in case you're following my measurement, but you can actually follow your measurement if you want. Like I said, this is 170 gram. And I also go ahead and add in 20 gram of shea butter, making everything total number of 190 gram, as you guys can see. So at this point, I'll use the double boiling method. I will boil my water in my electric pot. Then I will go ahead and melt this butter using the double boiling method. So guys, still in the process of trying to melt this butter, I went ahead and added in a spoon of my coconut oil. You can add in your olive oil, almond oil, avocado oil any oil of your choice so at this point all the butters are totally melted i will go in and pour in my blended glove and also my black tea then i will turn it and cover it up and let it sit so you're going to be very patient with this it's going to take you like uh, 30 to 40 minutes so you just cover it up and let it heat so after about 40 minutes this is what you're going to be getting at this point this oil is extremely hot all the nutrients in the glove and in the black tea are totally infused into this oil so it's going to be giving you this light brown color so at this point you're going to go ahead and strain it out so guys, I'm going to be using this uh, clothes that have very, very tiny holes. Make sure that your clothes has very tiny holes. So you won't end up with any form of particles, residue. You want to make sure that it's very, very smooth. So make sure that the clothes you're using does not have like a big hole. Make sure the holes are very tiny so that your oil can come out very smooth without residue. Just like this one. So guys, this is what it's going to be looking like. Like I said earlier, it gives you this light brown color. And at this point, you go ahead and put it in your fridge. Fridge, not freezer. And you let it solidify. 
So after about 30 minutes, this is what you're going to have. It's going to get really solid because cocoa butter is actually very solid. And again, I also want to mention that if you have low porosity hair, you can go in with just your shea butter and your mango butter. Why? Because cocoa butter is thicker and mango butter and shea butter are lighter butters why cocoa butter is a very heavyweight butter which is perfect for people with high porosity hair i don't know if you guys understand people with low porosity hair they find it difficult to pass a moisture into their hair so that's why they need lightweight product so it to be easy for them to trap in moisture but people with high porosity tend to find it difficult to keep moisture for longer time so that's why they need heavyweight products so that moisture can last longer on their hair. So at this point, the butter is ready. I'm just going to transfer it into my jar and this is what it looks like. So for the smell, it doesn't have like a particular smell. It literally smells like raw butter. So you can add in your preservative if you want. But then again, this can last it for at least uh, three weeks to four weeks because there is no water solution you guys see that i didn't add anything water aloe vera i didn't add anything that has water solution so this is just pure butter and it's going to last you for at least a month but like if something you want to sell or if something you want to keep for a longer time you can go ahead and add in your preservative so when you apply it it will just melt into your hair like this you guys can see so it is ready and let me show you guys how i apply it to my hair so this is what my hair look like with no product like i always tell you guys i like to apply my product on a clean hair if i'm not washing it out so my hair is actually clean but it's literally dry with no product so i'm going to go ahead and apply this butter into my hair section by section so i also want to point out that if you're the type that always experience hair dryness your hair is always drying and don't forget that hair dryness causes hair breaking you don't want to miss out on this and don't forget that these are two powerful ingredients infused in this butter which is the glove and the black tea and can you guys see that moisture? This is just bringing a lot of moisture into my hair. My hair feels so soft and shining. And like I was saying, this caffeine found in black tea helps to block the DHT. So you don't get to experience any form of hair loss. So like I said, this just bring back a lot of moisture into my hair. My hair felt so soft. It was easy for me to pass comb through my hair. As you guys can see, my hair feels so soft, looking shiny. It feels so good. So because I want to put my hair in a simple cone roll because I wear a lot of wigs. So I'm going to unravel this twist. But then again, at this point, after adding this uh, butter into your hair, you can go ahead and put your hair in a simple protective style and you're good to go. My hair felt really, really soft. So if you're suffering from hair dryness and those that always complain to me that their hair is always strong, their hair feels strong, don't know what to do, this is something that you need in your life. This is going to change your entire hair because your hair is going to feel healthy, soft, with so much nutrients in it. So guys, yeah, that's it for this video. Here on my channel, I share a lot regarding hair, how to take care of your hair, treat your hair, make your own products, and if this sounds like what you like to watch, Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.